Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so much for being patient with me while I've been away for these last couple of weeks. I will actually go into more detail about that a little bit later in the video. While I was gone, I was still able to film here and there and put together this highly motivational and satisfying cleaning video for you. I did a lot of good deep cleaning, so if you're looking for some motivation and satisfactional cleaning, you are in the right spot. I filmed this over the course of four days, I believe. So this video ended up being over 30 minutes long. Before we got into the cleaning, I wanted to get a pot of chicken noodle soup going on the stove. I'll have this exact recipe down below. This is my aunt's recipe. I've made this several times before on my channel and it gets a lot of rave. It really is delicious. So if you haven't already, I do recommend that you try it out. First, I wanted to get my chicken boiling and while I'm at it, I'm gonna make a homemade chicken broth since the recipe calls for some and I don't have any. So for the time being, I'm gonna let that chicken boil and then I will come back and finish off the soup later. So the first thing that I want to focus on is this ceiling fan. It's kind of embarrassing to show this, but this is real life. So um, really dusty. So we are going to get all the dust off and we're going to give it a good wipe. And then I'm also going to sweep the ceilings and get all the dust off of those. Those were bad as well. You can't see it as much because the ceilings are white, but they were just as bad as the ceiling fan. So I am using the old pillowcase trick and just sliding that over the blades and that kind of helps to hold most of the dust in there. There was still a lot of dust that ended up on the floor, but overall, most of it ended up in the pillowcase. And I like this trick because you can just take the pillowcase and throw it into the wash whenever you're done. So I'm just gonna clean off all the blades and now I'm just taking a damp cloth and kind of just scrubbing that stuck on dust. Yes, there is dust that was stuck on. So I'm just kind of going along the edges there. So like I said, I'm gonna take the broom and I'm gonna sweep the ceilings really good. There was kind of a dust ring around where the ceiling fan spins. So I'm just getting that and any other areas that I see. There was a lot of dust that ended up on the furniture and the floor. So whenever I'm done with this part, I will eventually clean the furniture and the floors. And now just to make the fan smell good, I'm just taking my Mrs. Myers rose scent and spraying that and wiping it one more time. I do get this from Grove Collaborative. As always, I do have my Grove link down below in the description box. And if you're a new member with them, you can get a free Mrs. Myers gift set with your first purchase. So a quick before, just to kind of remind you guys of how bad it was and an after. This was really satisfying to see on camera.
Okay, so you can kind of see the dust everywhere. I am gonna first start taking everything off the couches. I'm not gonna deep clean the actual couch, but I'm gonna take the covers off that we keep on there as a protective layer from my dog. She likes to lick her paws and she leaves wet rings on them. So that's why we leave the blankets on the couch like we do. So I'm just gonna take those off, put them in the wash, and we are gonna get started cleaning this coffee table and also the floor. You'll notice that the blue rug is not inside currently. We actually have it outside airing out. And later in the video, actually at the very end, you'll see me bring that in and we are gonna shampoo it. And that is really satisfying to see. So make sure that you stick around for that. So, like I said, I have been gone for a couple of weeks now, and as most of you may know, I did post in my community post, but I know not everyone sees it. I think it only shows up on mobile devices. I'm not entirely sure if it shows up on desktop, but uh, my grandmother actually had got really sick, um, and she ended up passing away. Her body just wore out on her so I've kind of just been taking this time dealing with that but I do want to thank you all for your prayers and all of your kind of words they were very much appreciated So I actually got out the Dyson initially to begin with and it died on me. <laughs> so I had to get out the Dinky and it's basically just like the Dyson. I don't like it as good as my Dyson, but it does the job. So I'm just gonna vacuum up all the dust that I can and then we are gonna give this floor a steam mop. And you'll see little baby Ray there in her swing. She was taking a nap and I'm surprised that she slept through all of the vacuum noises. <laughs> I also wanted to share this month's Simply Earth box with you guys. So this is the May recipe box. This recipe box is geared more towards women and that special time of month that sometimes we struggle with. So in our box we have four oils. We have tangerine, good vibes, marjoram, and ladies choice. So in the box you'll get these four oils and some other things in there. 
to make some DIYs with. If you're not a member already with Simply Earth, you can use my code at Kelly's Corner Free and you'll get this recipe box. You'll get the big blue bonus box that'll come with rollers and everything extra that you will need over the next six months. You'll also get a $40 gift card after you make the first purchase. And this box is $39 a month, so it's kind of like you're getting this first box for free. But anyways, I'm going to have all that information down below if you guys are interested. So one of my favorite things to do whenever I am steam mopping is to drop a few drops of essential oil onto my mop pad. Because it's a steam mop, there's not any scent. You just use water with it obviously because all it does is just put off steam. So just for a little extra scent, I'm going to use a few drops of essential oil. And the one I'm using on there today is the Good Vibes. Also, while we're talking about coupon codes, if you follow me on Instagram, you have probably seen some of the shirts that I've been sharing. My sister has recently started an Etsy shop. She's been making shirts for years, but she's just recently launched an Etsy shop. And so she has been making shirts and started her little business. All of the tops that you will see me wearing in this video actually came from her shop. And she was nice enough to share a discount code with me to give you guys. And that's going to be Kelly's Corner 15. I'm going to leave that down below as well with her Etsy shop. So if you guys are interested in any of the tops that you see me wearing in this video, you can find them over on her Etsy shop. And don't forget to use the discount code to get 15% off. All right, so on to the next step with my soup. The chicken is ready, so I'm going to go ahead and shred that up. And my favorite way to shred chicken is with my hand mixer. Once I have it shredded up, I can assemble the rest of the soup. And now I'm just going to place that back into my pot. I'm going to add in two cans of cream of chicken and two cans cream of celery. I'm also going to add in just a tad bit more water. It had boiled down as the chicken cooked, so I'm just adding a little bit more in there. And you can use whatever kind of pasta that you want to use. Today I'm using egg noodles. Before I've used elbow and I've also used bow tie. And both of those work out fine too. So like I said, today I'm going to use egg noodles. And I didn't put very many in there. I wanted it to be more soupy and not quite so thick. And this is what it looked like whenever it came out. You can salt and pepper it to taste, but honestly, it didn't need any of that. So we ended up putting it into these freezer containers and we just labeled the tops with what it was and the date and we stuck it in the freezer. And it's great to pull out later. So we are on to day two now and I'm in the bedroom. I'm gonna go ahead and make my bed. Making my bed is always the first thing that I do whenever I start to clean my room. It kind of just seems like everything else falls into place if the bed's made. Home to me once you try. 
So as you guys know, Miss Ray will be six months old at the end of this month. So I would like to start sleep training her to sleep in her own bed. She's been sleeping with me for the most part, but I'm ready for her to start sleeping in her own bed. So this has kind of been a catch all space for me. If I have nowhere else to put something, I'll just put it in her bed. So I've got to clean all of that out. There's also some laundry in there that I needed to put away, but my goal is to get it cleaned out and completely ready for her to start sleep training. And I ended up putting a blanket over the padding, but I think what I want to do instead is just to put a crib sheet over it. So I need to purchase a crib sheet, but for now, I'm just going to have the blanket. I had gotten a few new tops off of Amazon and so one of the things that I have to do whenever I get new things is pull out some things that I no longer wear or maybe I just don't like it. I will go ahead and pull them out to make room for the new. That way I'm not over cluttered with clothing and I can keep things cleaned out. Forever. So like I said earlier, all I have right now is this blanket. I didn't want her sleeping on just the hard surface, so for some padding, I just put the blanket down. But I do eventually want to get a crib sheet. I think that will be a lot safer. So I'm gonna order some crib sheets. And then I think what I'll do is just put that over the blanket so she still has the cushion, but it will kind of hold the blanket and everything in place. I'm 
So it is now day three. I wanted to strip the boys' beds and get their sheets washed and wipe their mattresses and just kind of wipe the bed itself down. And then I also need to really deep clean their bathroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and get their sheets off and into the wash. So to wipe their beds down, I'm using the Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray and the lavender scent. And they do have protective plastic covers on their mattresses, so I'm able to just spray them down and give them a wipe. I had put this lavender spray up for a very long time because I used it so much whenever I first started using the Mrs. Myers products. And I just got burned out on it. And I, like I said, I had put it up and I didn't want to bring it out for a long time because I was just so over it. But now that I have not used it for a while and I've brought it back out, I'm reminded why I loved it so much to begin with. And like I said, another thing that I wanted to do on this day was to deep clean their bathroom. They have been using this bathtub a lot more, so I am going to give it a clean today. And I'm back to my old method. I would just take one of these dish wands and fill it up with some Blue Dawn and just a little bit of vinegar. And that together will clean just about anything off. So I've been thinking lately about this bathroom. I kind of think that I want to 
give it a face lift. <laughs> I'm thinking about painting the walls and maybe adding in a new mirror. I want to redo the countertops, kind of how we did in the kitchen. Maybe not those exact same colors, but something similar. And of course we need to paint the cabinets and all of that good stuff. But um, let me know what you guys think. If you have any ideas, let me know. You can also send me some things over on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's Kelly's Corner underscore 08. But I have a few ideas in mind. I'm kind of thinking maybe like a neutral gray color with a few pops of this is a kid's bathroom kind of thing so that whenever we do move out my mom can very easily change the theme and it's not going to be just always a kid's bathroom i don't know let me know what you guys think down below I also wanted to steam mop these floors in here. This is a little boys bathroom, so you guys that are mothers of boys, you know what I'm talking about. But their bathrooms just get really disgusting. They don't always aim properly. So that's why it's just really satisfying for me to use a steam mop, especially around the toilet area, just to make sure that I'm getting up all of the nasty bacteria. One more thing I was noticing was there was some toothpaste marks on the cabinet, so I am going to wipe those down. I'm also going to clean the door and the wall behind it. How they get toothpaste in some of these areas boggles my mind, but it happens. I don't care because right now I feel the love that we said we would burn. Oh, I know that you feel it too. I know that I told you we're over. I swear that. Okay, so we are now on to the very last day of this cleaning video and we are moving on to the blue rug. So I brought it back in. It had spent quite a few days outside just airing out. So I wanted to give it a really good vacuum and you'll notice that I'm kind of going back and forth in the same areas over and over and it's because like I said it had been outside for a few days. We have high pollen levels here in South Georgia and so I wanted to make sure that I got as much of that vacuumed up as possible and then I will go back over this and shampoo it. I got a new carpet shampooer and I'm in love. I will have it linked down below for you guys. So I've had shampooers before and I have used chemicals in them that I probably shouldn't have. I would use any cleaner that I had and I've had them tear up on me. I don't want this one to tear up on me so I'm going to only use the formula that is called to use in this machine. But yeah, I love this machine. It did a really good job. Make sure that you see at the end how black this water was. It was absolutely disgusting, but it did a really good job of cleaning this rug. And it also does have attachments so you can clean upholstery with it as well.
So here is the disgusting water tank. It looks like chocolate milk. <laughs> so I'm gonna pour this in the bathtub and I regretted it as soon as I done it because there was so much dirt in that water that it should have been poured outside. But I know for next time that it needs to be poured outside. We did end up having to clean the bathtub so don't worry about that. We did get it all clean. But yeah, this water was absolutely disgusting but it was also really satisfying to see that but anyways i want to thank you guys for watching this video and thank you so much for being patient with me over these last couple of weeks i am happy to be back and uploading for you guys and always if you're new here and you have not hit that subscribe button i would love it if you done so i hope you guys have a great day and i will see you in the next video bye